If you have psoriasis, you may be wondering whether what you're eating can help your psoriasis. The problem is that it can be difficult sorting through all the information out there about diet and psoriasis. Today, we will answer your questions about psoriasis and diet. 1. Does going gluten-free make your psoriasis better? 2. Does losing weight improve your psoriasis? 3. Does taking dietary supplements help your psoriasis? And 4. Does adopting a specific diet benefit your psoriasis? Hi, I'm Dr. April Armstrong. I am a board-certified dermatologist. Working with the National Psoriasis Foundation, researchers synthesized results from 55 studies from over a 65-year period with more than 77,000 patients. These findings are based on scientific studies, and some results may surprise you. So first, does Going gluten-free make your psoriasis better? What is gluten? Gluten is the general name for the proteins found in wheat, rye, and barley. It is found in many foods including bread, soups, pasta, cereals, baked goods, and other foods. To many people's surprise, most studies found that a gluten-free diet in itself did not appear to substantially reduce psoriasis severity. Therefore, the National Psoriasis Foundation do not recommend a gluten-free diet as a main way of treating your psoriasis. There's one exception. If you have a gut disease called celiac disease, where the body mounts an inflammatory reaction to gluten, then a gluten-free diet can be helpful in reducing psoriasis severity. Now, the second question, does losing weight reduce your psoriasis severity? Well, studies have found that adipocytes or fat cells in the body of psoriasis patients are not just sitting there and doing nothing. Instead, they're putting out inflammation molecules that may actually make psoriasis worse. Studies have also found that in psoriasis patients with excess weight, a low calorie diet of between 800 to 1400 calories per day, in addition to medical treatments, can lead to big improvements in this patient's psoriasis. Now, that's no easy feat to do such a low caloric diet because most American breakfasts alone contain about that many calories. Therefore, the National Psoriasis Foundation strongly recommends dietary weight reduction with a low calorie diet for psoriasis patients with excess weight. However, this should be done in addition to standard medical therapies for psoriasis. What about dietary supplements? Taking supplements may seem like a great idea for your psoriasis, but what is the evidence for using supplements to help your psoriasis at this time? Well, from 38 different studies looking into this matter, while some studies hint at the benefits of these supplements, larger studies have unfortunately failed to show that supplements work in psoriasis. Therefore, the National Psoriasis Foundation does not recommend taking selenium, B12, vitamin D, and micronutrients for the sole purpose of treating psoriasis, as evidence does not suggest that they work. What about fish oil? Well, fish oil is a little bit more controversial. While some studies have found fish oil supplementation to be helpful, overall, the preponderance of evidence shows that oral fish oil supplementation at the doses that were studied was not effective in treating psoriasis. Does adopting a specific diet benefit your psoriasis? Well, there is not much organized research into this area. Based on a small amount of low quality evidence, the National Psoriasis Foundation made guarded recommendations regarding specific diets. A trial of a Mediterranean diet may help with psoriasis. This diet may include extra virgin olive oil as the main culinary fat, fish or seafood, and legumes at least three times weekly, as well as a healthy serving of vegetables and fruits. Number two, we also recommend consuming more omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. Monounsaturated fatty acids, fiber, or complex carbohydrates, and less omega-6 or simple carbohydrates. Okay. 
Overall, while we so wish that what we eat can make a big dent in our psoriasis, unfortunately, studies have found that for most people, diets alone do not work well for their psoriasis. However, the community of psoriasis researchers and patients are working hard in this area. In my own clinic, I've seen many patients coming to me after trying different types of diets for their psoriasis for years and didn't see any improvement in psoriasis. And during that time, they were eating food that they didn't like and their psoriasis was getting worse. They are the silent majority that you don't hear about. Therefore, it is important to make sure that you connect with your dermatologist early and frequently to talk about how to treat your psoriasis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below to learn more about skin conditions. This has been Dr. April Armstrong, wishing you a clear skin day.